five most important slide guitar songs ever recorded. If you're serious about playing slide guitar, you need to know these. Number five is Dust My Broom, Elmore James. This is in open E tuning. The original recording is in D, but just like a lot of things in guitar world, I'm gonna just play it in open E, it's all the same notes. And the very first thing in the melody starts like this, slides into the 12th fret. So this melody is all taking advantage of the open tuned guitar, right? We can kind of just hit the strings. We don't have to be super duper specific with what we're hitting, but at, this is all at the 12th fret. And something that's really cool is that Elmore's letting the strings ring into each other. So it's specifically kind of messy. That's kind of part of the sound here. You know, the strings are ringing into each other we're not worrying about like Derek Truck's single note lines and stuff yet. This is earlier than that. So once again, that melody. A little slower, we're hitting this high E. And then sliding back to 10 and 12, 10 first on the E string, then 12 of the B string. I'm gonna play this part really slowly so that you can see exactly how to play that melody right there. There's just a little bit of sliding down um, from the 12th fret to the 10th fret, and then you move across the strings. And don't worry about muting or anything yet. We can just kind of hammer this part away on the slide, okay? So then later on, Elmore plays this part, which is one of the most blues cliche things we could ever play. It goes like this. So this melody is just like the intro thing where we can leave these strings kind of ringing into each other. We don't have to worry a ton about muting yet. And again, it goes like this. So we're really just targeting the 12th fret here. Sliding into the 12th fret from somewhere between 10 and 12. It's not exactly 10. The blues is a little bit less specific than that in this case. It can be kind of like mm, 11, 10 and a half. You know, that's where you get to kind of like put your own spin on exactly how these licks sound, right? But that's the gist of it, not much to it. So those are the biggest points in Dust My Broom. Make sure you get those down. Number four on our list is She's 19 Years Old, a Muddy Waters classic. <laughs> Muddy Waters was the first guy who really got me into playing slide. And I think part of what I liked about it was that I could really hear that the notes he was playing weren't too complicated. It was more how he was playing it that struck me and that just made me want to give it a shot myself. So Muddy does this thing where we're in the key of G and there's a lot of repetition, a lot of call and response. It's pretty simple. In the key of G, we're going to find ourselves at the 15th fret in open E tuning. And this solo starts out like this. So we're sliding into the fifth, right? The D. And we just keep hitting it a few times. So we're sliding into the D and we kind of like quiver our way down to the 13th fret, down to 14 on the G string and then back to 15. So that sounds like this.
that repeats. And then Muddy slides into the root and he does all this just kind of like, he doesn't have a lot of vocabulary, admittedly, but he's got this attitude and this vibe and he's, you can really hear him. He's going like this, he goes. And he also has this other lick that I really like that where he builds excitement, he goes like this, he goes. So that's sliding in on the B string into the 15th fret. And then kind of pivoting back and forth between your thumb and your index, picking the B string with your thumb, and your index picks the E string. This just builds a lot of excitement on that high uh, 15th fret on the E and the B string. So then the second time Muddy comes around and does his chorus, he starts out the same exact way. He just hits it harder this time. He goes. gets kind of frisky and he slides all the way up to the 20th fret on the E string and he goes and this is kind of messy this is sort of like you know he's really he's really throwing his slide up there it's an attitude thing so you know the pitch matters but he's really feeling this and we can't help but feel this when Muddy does this then he goes back to that So those are some of the highlights from Muddy Waters and his slide playing. Check out Muddy if you don't know him already. Number three on our list is the very great David Lindley with Mercury Blues. I love this recording. This is definitely a favorite song of mine. Been playing it in my band, the Family Jewels Band, for years. This is also a great example of the Dumble amplifier on full display. He's playing a Dumble in this case, one of his own Dumbles. And it's just some of the greatest guitar tone recorded in my opinion. The recording is in F, but we're in E, which is fine. It's all the same tuning, just a half step lower. And it starts out with this really cool first lick. So this is kind of a cool little exercise. I feel like this is a different territory from like Elmore James and Muddy Waters. We're paying a lot more attention to muting strings. Um, it's a little bit more articulate playing than those guys. We love Muddy and Elmore, but this is, you know, many years later and techniques have advanced. So we're going to start out on our fifth string, the B string, and we slide into the third fret. <laughs> And then after the third fret, you hit your fourth string open, fifth string open, and then into the verse. One of my favorite things about this recording is that Lindley is definitely playing most of his lines across the strings, and he's playing on the high string quite a bit. So it's not like moving over the strings too much. It's more like... <laughs> what moving around the strings does for you is it gives you this sort of life that playing in one position doesn't really do. There's just energy when you move across and you can do things like this. That was all just on the high E string, okay? 
So this is a really good example of a song where we can do that. We don't have to, you know, get in one zone and just try to play a bunch of licks. I would encourage you to try to zing your slide around on the high E string. Um, there are some things that we can do too, like... You could turn this sort of thing into an exercise. Right, that sounds like something, it's, it's kind of like Thunderstruck. Another part of Lin Lee's playing that I just love on this recording, and the thing about it is the sound that he's getting. Like I mentioned, he's playing this Dumble amp. It has this beautiful overdriven, but very clear and just sort of controlled sound. He's doing similar things to Elmore James, but there's a little bit more muting and control going on that makes it just clearer. So one thing he'll do is he does this. <laughs> This sort of thing, these two notes. 12th fret, B and G string. Just that, just that part alone is great. Really nice voice leading. We can hear the tone just beautifully. All the notes are sounding really clear. That's the sort of thing that the Dumbo offers and that Lindley's really kind of like triggering the amp rather than the guitar, I think with this. I really think he's thinking of what the amp gives him and he's playing for that. So that's a lesson in, you know, knowing your gear and knowing how to get the best tone out of it for sure. Number two on our list is Sahib Terry Bondi by Derek Trucks Band. This is off the record song lines. And to me, that entire record is just some of my favorite side guitar playing in the whole world. The album is beautiful. Derek's playing is just out of control. And this melody in particular is just one that stands out to me. So let's learn it. It's in the key of B flat. So we're at the sixth fret and it starts on the B string sliding up like this. This is a difficult melody to play on slide. So let me break it down really nice and slow. And one of the things I love about this song is that we kind of have mode mixture. We have like mixolydian mode, lydian mode. There's some just straight up major scale. We kind of dip into these different tonalities, right? This first one is mostly just major scale, but it's how it's played that really stands out to me. So here it is nice and kind of slow. That's the main theme, and it's just played over and over and over. What you're not going to get out of it if you don't play it fast enough is you're just not going to get, you know, the phrasing is what you're not going to get. So we have to work on this slowly so that we can play it fast. But eventually, you want to whip your slide around fast enough to get those little specific articulations that sound like Derek, okay? Once again, here it is a little faster. today is definitely Statesboro Blues by Dwayne Ullman. I think every slide guitar player knows where they were when they first heard this recording. I certainly know where I was when I heard it. Starts at the 10th fret. We're in the key of D and it's very call and response based the whole time. So the first call sounds like this, which is sliding between 10 and 8 on the 5th and 4th strings. 
Then the first lick Dwayne plays goes like this. So we slide into 10 on the G string. And there's this little ghost note that's kind of like a, a harmonica player's sort of like a breathing sort of thing that we emulate. Right, that's sort of like the sliding back from 10 to eight part. It's almost like a breath sort of thing that we're emulating. Then we get the call again. And then Dwayne plays this lick. So this is a really cool lick. You get a little finger roll. It's sliding from eight to 10, G string, B string, E string. Now that higher part, slow down, is like. And that's tough to get really fast. Slow this down first, okay? Otherwise it's just gonna be way out of tune. But listen to the recording, listen to your own pitch, just try to compare. Try to do it you know, a little bit faster if you're working on your speed to get up to where Dwayne's playing it. Start slow. If it's getting too pitchy, just slow it down, okay? Then we go back to our same call. That's kind of a sassy, you know, Dwayne takes his time. Then the last call. And then we get one of my favorite Dwayne Allman-isms. It's this. This is definitely harmonica lick vocabulary, okay? We're sliding up into 10 on the B string. And then you slide back to eight on the B string, and every time in between these two notes, we're gonna play the 10th fret on the G string. So it's got this sort of like, mm, I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it's definitely a harmonica lick, and if you hit it aggressively, that's going to make the harmonics pop, and it's just gonna give it the attitude that this lick really needs to sound the best. <laughs> And then there's that sort of fall down lick at the very end that's covered by a drum fill. And then we're into the verse. But that head is the most important part. If you can learn those licks, you really get into how Dwayne is playing, how open E tuning works, and just a whole lot of slide vocabulary right there. All right, that's our top five slide guitar song list for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time.